welcome to my three month birth control update. So I am on the pill. I am on Bosovi B120. And today I'm just gonna be talking about um, my three month experience on the pill. We're just gonna we're just gonna dive right into it. First and foremost, she, my vagina, dry. Doesn't really work anymore. Just in a constant state of dry. Even when I want to get like in the mood, I can't. I just can't. Um, it's just dry she doesn't get aroused so like even if i were to use lube sh she's still not ready the function of my vagina just went away there is nothing to work with anymore me trying to have sex with how she is right now three months on the pill would be like a guy trying to have sex with a limp dick that just was forever limp so yeah that's um that's really cool, I guess. I haven't had sex since my last update, the one month update, because um, my cervix just started hurting when I would have sex. And then um, eventually because she is so dry, it would just like hurt because of the friction. So yeah, I don't think I will be engaging in sexual activity for a while. It's funny cause like in that sense, birth control kind of works cause it's like you don't ovulate so you can't get pregnant, but then you also don't want to have sex. So it's like a double whammy. Depression, um, still depressed. I feel like the birth control is making it slightly worse. Um, yeah, that's all I can say on that. Um, okay, my ovary. This is the reason why I started taking it because I had an ovarian cyst rupture about six months ago now. And ever since then, my right ovary has been hurting on and off the pill. Okay, after I got the ruptured cyst, my ovary was hurting and I would get vaginal pain. Even if I wasn't on my period, it was just like constant vaginal pain. So, so far the vaginal pain hasn't come back, but I have been getting ovary pain on and off. Not as frequent as it was before the pill, but it's definitely still there. And last week I started feeling feverish and getting a little bit nauseous. No fever though. So I thought it might be another cyst because that's what happened last time I had a cyst. I don't have any more cysts. I got another ultrasound a couple days ago. So my ovary just hurts, even though there's no cyst. And the ultrasound tech said there's still fluid around my right ovary from when it ruptured back in November. So I don't know why there's still fluid there. When I've Googled it, it said like the fluid should go away in like 24 hours after it ruptured. So I don't know why there's still fluid there, but that might be why I keep getting ovary pain. High key, I feel like I might have endometriosis. I feel like if I do have endometriosis, it's growing like on my bladder because sometimes I'll get this like burning sensation that like shoots up my abdomen when I pee and um like when I pee sometimes it doesn't feel like I'm emptying my bladder or anything but I've gotten like pelvic ultrasounds and everything I've gotten like tested for UTI, BV, yeast, um like every single STD and like nothing's wrong with me everything was negative there's nothing wrong so I feel like I low-key might have endometriosis, which would probably explain like my pain all the time, but so far the birth control has helped manage the vaginal pain and it decreased the ovary pain. And luckily I'm not bleeding. After I filmed my one month update, I did bleed for, I think it was 10 days. Ever since then, I haven't bled. That was like a little under two months ago, I believe. Or maybe it was like a month and a half ago. So I haven't bled in a month and a half, I think. And yeah, I'm just taking the hormonal doses. I'm not stopping and taking the placebo doses because I never intend on bleeding again because it's so painful for me. When I did bleed on the pill, it was still very, very, very painful. And I just continued taking the hormonal dose throughout it. Yeah, eventually I stopped bleeding. And something that I realized I haven't mentioned in my other video is weight. So I like generally weigh between 123 and 127, just depending on like if I've eaten that day or not before I weigh myself. Usually in the morning before eating or drinking, I'll weigh like 123 
to 124. And my weight has stayed stable for three months. I haven't gained or lost any weight. So if you're concerned about weight gain, um, I haven't had any weight gain in three months, which I was really worried about coming from like a history of, I've gone through like restrictive phases. I've gone through binge eating phases. I was just really worried the hormones would trigger like more hunger and I'd fall back into binging and that hasn't happened so that's a plus so yeah I just wanted to like finish off this video with like my pill club experience slash pharmacy experience so I take Blasovi V120 now there's different brands that are the same exact thing just a different brand it's the same medicine but I have seen places um some people say that switching brands will cause them to bleed and like spot because their body can tell it's different. So I have no intention of switching my brand. So I signed up for the pill club because I'm high key agoraphobic and panic when I have to like leave and go anywhere. So I figured it would just be easier to get it delivered to me. So I signed up for the pill club and I specifically selected when I was filling out my account information that I do not want substitutes for my brand that I did not want a generic version of my brand to make it cheaper or whatever. And in my first pill club order, I requested them to send me a plan B. I just wanted it just in case, you know? My first pill club order, they send me, wait, let me get it. In my first order, they send me Haley Fee 120. Now I get it, it's the same medicine, but it's like not. I've heard people will spot if they switch brands and because I'm taking it to stop bleeding because bleeding is so excruciating for me, I was not switching brands. And on the label, they even wrote sub for a Blasovi V120. After I specifically told them to not sub my brand. So I contacted Pill Club, canceled my account, got had to get them to refund my insurance. And I was like, fuck this. I'm just gonna get it sent to a pharmacy. So I asked my gynecologist, will you send my prescription to my pharmacy? And this is a new pharmacy because I just moved. Um, I guess CVS carries Blasovi Fee, my brand, but the Walgreens that's like right next to my apartment complex carries a different brand for this medicine. So I guess my gynecologist sent them a generic prescription. I get home, open up the prescription bag. They didn't say, are you picking up X medicine? They just said, you're getting the birth control. I said, yeah. I get home, open my prescription bag. It was another brand. And I was like, wow, I'm almost out of all my doses. I'm gonna bleed. I'm gonna have to like skip some doses while I try to track down my brand. Figured out the CVS by me has it. Called back Walgreens, told them to refund it. They said no, cause it's not our fault. I said, I'm not saying it's your fault. I'm saying this isn't the brand that I take. Nobody double checked with me when I picked up my medication, I take one brand and I'm not taking another brand. And she was like, well, it's legal in the state of Arizona to swap out brands. We don't legally have to give you your brand. And I'm like, okay, you like, you don't legally have to give it to me, but I'm not taking this. So you're just wasting medicine at this point and I need you to refund my insurance so I can actually get my medicine. And she was like, no. I'm like, I really just need you to refund my insurance at this point. She's like, well, then you need to bring it back. And I was like, okay, that's fine. And she was like, we're not gonna refund it. We're gonna order your brand just this one time to keep you as a customer, but we're not replacing it in the future. And it's like, okay. Basically, she told me it's your fault. So we're not fixing it. Like, okay, bitch, it's not my fault. It's not your fault. It's my doctor's fault for sending a generic prescription. So that was a whole fucking fiasco. I just found it so rude that like, first the pill club, then like my in-person pharmacy, like it happened back to back. I got my birth control a day before I was out of my already open doses. It's just disrespectful. I get some medicines, it won't really like matter if you swap them out, but especially with birth control, you're playing with someone's hormones and you don't know why I'm taking it. Like I'm not taking it for pregnancy prevention. I'm taking it specifically so I don't bleed and because I'm in like constant pain and for you to be like, well, it's your fault, we're not replacing it when you're like risking me bleeding. I just found it so dismissive and disrespectful, especially coming from a woman. It's like, okay, if you're a man, okay, if you're a man and you work in a pharmacy, you should understand what these medicines do. But especially if you're a woman, you should understand hormones and how much they affect us women. Yeah, not a pleasant experience. But yeah, that is my three month update 
on Blasovi Fee 120. Probably gonna do a six month update. And yeah, I'd say my symptoms so far aren't bad. The main symptom is the dry ass pussy. Um, I guess subscribe if you want to see more videos. Also, if you have any video suggestions, feel free to comment. If you have any other questions about the birth control stuff, feel free to comment. And yeah, thanks for watching.